so that we could um, come up with a resolution um, instead of reacting on our acting out on our emotions to come together and use our reasoning so that we can have an effective uh, resolution on how to protect our women, children, and men, our community Amen. as a whole. And it is now wow. 7 o'clock and not one person has arrived to discuss the issues and I think that is really really sad that we can't come together united we will overcome divided we will fall and be conquered so you know we need to get together all the leaders everybody if you care about our people then we need to come together and use critical thinking I found peace when when I realized that uh, resurrection became a fact in my life and I realized me and the great God was one and that um, it's a sin for me to be to be Negro, black, or colored. To be Negro, black, and colored, because uh, the great by slaveholders, which gave those names to 1774. From 1774, uh, the prophet tells us that in the divine instruction, 1774 marked it because uh, that was the first Continental Crime Congress. Um, look it up uh, for the records of the U.S. Ameri uh, of, uh, of, of America, which is of America because they're not. America and they on the land of America, which is the Moorish Americans. We are like we, we that's why we discuss that this is a historical, um, and we teach law here as well, um, through the understanding of your historical base. Because, uh, we always take it back to 1774 as well as dealing with these theories that they brought forth, uh, the Willie Lynch theory, which stated that we were it was a perpetual slave event. We know that, um, the only slavery that is deemed now is mental slavery. And so when we look into the minds of our people that think that they're Negro, Black, and color and think that they have a, a allegiance to a government that was never, that, that, that never um, accepted them, and that the 14th and the 15th Amendment re-enslaved not only them, but everybody who considered themselves commercial property um, or a quote-unquote citizen of USA. Uh, this is a historical base that's uh, you can go and you can study for yourself, do read and Google it. So you want 1774, that's first Continental, Continental Congress. Then when you're dealing with, from 1779 to 1865, that was the um, the Continental Slavery time. You also had a, t a time of slavery before that, which was in 1492. Uh, it was from 1492 on into that 1776. And so 
Um, that also in inspired with Morocco because Morocco was the capital. And so when we're dealing with Morocco, we have a lot of our brothers and sisters who, who affiliate themselves with Hebrew Israelites. We have a, a, a whole bunch of affiliates who affiliate themselves with the Black Panther movement. Um, the, uh, all of the organizations that we have brought forth, for even the tribes, the uh, street tribes that we have, the, uh, the uh, Brothers Leave Their Own Destiny, um, the, the, the community re uh, revolution that was in progress. Uh, we, th these are all historical basis of us um, taking care of our community, taking care of our children and women, protecting our elders, our children and our women, and our leaders standing for what's uh, justice, mercy, love, and right and not hatred, slander, looters, murder, theft, and everything that harm. We got to do with this. This is severity. We got to know the difference between religion and nationality. What, why is this so pertinent? Because let's go to history when we find out just Soleil and just Sanguinis, brothers and sisters, right to soil and right to bloodline. According to human records, there is no Negro, black or color in the human family period family that's all we saying now what we another thing that we're saying is we're saying the crit uh, is religion don't have nothing your religion could be anything but what we're speaking of is nationality we have to come every nation has came together and gained their reparations family because they came together on a one free national name they had their own government they had their own people they were self autonomy self autonomous that's what made them sovereign you cannot be a sovereign by yourself fam that's all we saying and we coming together as look you, we, yeah rbg look now let me give you a historical base because when we dealing let me show you the lineup right here as you can see you have uh marcus garvey right here and prophet noble drew ali right here they was together you see what i'm saying and so rbg when you were referring to rbg the red the black the black and the green that was the african liberation and the, and, the, and, 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 and the harbinger, Marcus Garvey brought that. Marcus Garvey brought that, and he was the only one that was in the book of the, the, the Holy Quran of the Moorish Americans, which is us. Noble Drew Ali wrote four books for us, and that gives you your vast estate and let you know that Christianity started in Rome. You see what I'm saying? And that's for their earthly salvation. And we wish we do it. And so, this is science that you can go and you can do your own history with. Now, let's keep it moving because now when we move forward, we also have to remember about um, what's, what's coming up next. The Nation of Islam. Now, let's deal with the Nation of Islam, brothers. Now, we know Elijah Muhammad and Master Far Muhammad, there was, there was L's and there was bays because they went to the temple and Noble Jurah Ali himself taught them the true science of the Moors. Now, the reason that they was able to come back and he started implementing his temple is because he went according to what we call the Holy Quran of Moorish America. Okay? And in that special demonstration, it says that the Moorish Science Temple of America is a lawfully chartered organization. Now, in, in the other, a few other chapters, they also speak of those organizations being able to take, implement their temple and then from that, take on their own customs. And so, when we moving and we grooving and we thinking about it, all of these are different movements and organizations, but remember Marcus Garvey said, we will go from organization, from organization, and we'll continue to do so until we reach the organization of government. Now we dealing with politics because now this is where we gain our human rights. Why is we steady fighting for civil rights when we ain't, our, our human rights is being violated every day, every day. And if we don't gra grab a hold of this and stand firm as a collective nation, look, the worst is yet to come. That's all we said. One free, it's got to be all together. United we stand, divided we fall. Yeah, we're doing yeah, that. Feral, man, private, feral. You know what I'm saying? Black Liberation Party, New Panthers. <laughs> and that's how we moving it, man. You know what I mean? Uh, they had their little protests or whatever, and they wanted to demonstrate they flex their little muscle or whatever they wanted to do. But, uh, you know, some of us, we got lives outside of this, so we had to kind of organize our shit, get our shit together. But we out here, we all stay pushing this line about improving our people, getting our people conscious of what's going on out here in the streets. And uh, about these black lives and everything that's going on with our movement, we're going to stay pushing it. You know I mean, that's why you see all this on my shirt, man, Revolutionary Mind Frame. Revolutionary Mind Frame is about knowing your history, man, knowing your people, man, and, and, and empowering your people, man. It's our generation, man. We got to move. 
You know what I'm saying? Our ancestors did the shit for us. You know, it kind of fell off wayside, but it's uh, those of us out here that's going to push this movement, man. We still believe mm -hmm. about our kids and our generation. We're going to stay with this movement, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not about no government. It's about nothing. It's about fighting the system and making sure we get our voice heard and about our problems and the things going on in our community. You know what I'm saying? I follow behind my captain. It's a rank to this, man. It's a movement behind this. This ain't nothing. Ain't nothing different. You see all these people on my shirt? I'm with, I'm with whatever they believe in is what I believe in. Because this are, these are our ancestors. These are the ones that, that blaze the path for us to stand out here on these corners, man, and let people know that this is real. This is what's really happening in the inner city. Now, y'all need to wake up, get out here, make y'all movement, let people hear your voice, man. Even if, you know what I'm saying, your opinion is different from ours. <laughs> At least you got something to say, man. Get out here and say something. Hey, something now let me ask you a question. So, um, you know, y'all movement, y'all been demonstrating. So, where, where, where do y'all lineage? Where is your lineage from? You're like, you're, you know what I mean, as far as dealing with y'all core. Uh, you, you mentioned something about the ancestors, and so what... Where, I mean, where, where you got, you know, your bloodline and stuff, you know, where, where, as far as dealing with the, the, the royalty of, of bringing your prestige in, do that make sense? Yeah, the, yeah, uh, so yeah, basically, yeah. you know, like, we get we get honors to our elders, Eldritch, Eldritch, oh, part myself, you, you, all of our brothers, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah he made it, yeah. That's you see what I'm saying, Marcus? Right. Yeah. And so when we when we speaking of when we speaking of these brothers, we gotta look at the mind frame that they was talking about because that's the revolution. Right. You see what I'm saying? But that's been grossified. Right. The uh, fame and the glory and the shame has all been misplaced. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so now that we coming into a, 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 a new paradigm shift to where the third and fourth generation, which is our babies, the, our posterity. See, that's where it come in. That all we are, we we are teaching them so they don't have to have it don't happen to them again. Right. To where they have their own everything. Right. Cause number one, so let me give you. Uh, I'll give you a little bit. But first of all, let me uh, excuse me, cause we we I just get honest to uh, praise out to Allah, I to the Prophet. Let me introduce. Uh, would you state your name? Oh God, for the record. Captain Ogun, Black Rider Liberation Party, New Generation Black Panther Party, Portland Chapter. Born and raised, look. Our lineage, you know, goes back to the Moors, man. You know, noble Drew Ali, you know. Some people believe in the Hebrew Israelites, you know. And, and at the end of the day, I don't feed too much. Personally, I don't feed too much into uh, the dogma of, of where we come from, even though I do know the truth. I know the history. I don't personally pouring in too much on it because I'm a build with anybody who's willing to build. If your religion or your ideology stop you from getting with people who's building, yeah, that tells me that you're just not in the right ideology and lineage to be with the right people. In the wrong circle, you know what I mean? And, and you gotta teach the lineage, the history of where you come from. You know, we know Pedro Alonso Nino to be a Moor. You can't tell me that that this 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 Christopher Colum Columbus discovered America when a black man was his navigator and had the map. That means somebody had the map to the place. That means somebody had to dock for them to dock at. Now who would have to dock at and would have the, 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 the knowledge to get places that you was not foreign to get to? That would be the most. So at the end of the day, I know our lineage and I think that's very important for us to know. And that is very, very important for us to know. Because if you don't know your history, like Marcus Mosiah Garvey said, you are history, you are like a tree with no roots, man. How you know where you're going to grow and how you're going to grow if you don't have the foundation for you to stand on and then grow into? You know, and then when you grow into, you have to then have the arms and means to protect what you build. So when you build something, you have to then protect it. 7-Eleven got security. That's right. <laughs> Safeway got security. Hell, schools got cameras. So at the end of the day, we have to build. Once we build, then we can protect. Then you protect, you stand on that ground. A lot of the Panthers that we figured out in the, in, in the, in the, in the, our elders are no knock to our elders because we still come from herbal tribalism. You know, they, they held down, they protected their cities and their blocks. The one thing they did not have and they failed at, they didn't own it. Mm. So for us Jell to life. protect, we have to then now go out and, pur and purchase and buy land. Once you buy land, land becomes your equity, becomes your property. You know what I mean? Then, then you can protect. Yeah, and then you invest in your community. Your community, we don't really have a community. If they can come in here, bulldoze your shit, wipe everything down, and build up a new season, that shows you didn't own nothing. So at the end of the day, I come from where we are standing at. I'm a product 
of this. My my middle school is down the street. My high school is up the street. Like my elementary is around the corner, literally from where we standing at. So at the end of the day, I walk to this corner store right here every day to get a German sausage with some French fries <laughs> from the Asians. You feel me? It wasn't That's a black gospel. You feel never me? a black business. <laughs> never a black <laughs> business since I've been born here. But this what? is the gospel, man. You know what I mean? And this is the only part that they ain't took over. Ah. You know why? Because it's OGs ah. in here that said they're not doing this. This is what the lineage and this is where we come from. This is what we've been doing. You know what I mean? We didn't let it slide. You know what I mean? It was no shot to self enhancement, but it was it wasn't like you could just come here and just bulldoze everything. You better just try to reinvent and re-innovate everything that we got going on in here because we ain't moving. You know what I mean? We deserve something. You can't just take everything from us down to our parks. Like, nah, man, that, that's, that's, that's foul and that's unheard of and it's unacceptable. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, Black Rider Liberation Party, New Generation Black Panther Party, we are here to be the, uh, the people's army. We're here to, to spread the knowledge, build with the people, yes, and then sir. protect the people. Yes, sir. And that's sir. it. Thank you, Captain Ozu, for coming out. Um, we reached out to all the leaders. Right now, we're trying to come together um, and set ideology to the side, but to build for our people. You know, um, the summer is coming up. We want to come to these parks and demonstrate and give, you know, our people, you know, be accountable of educating our people and teaching them who they are. You know, try to get a census so we can know which area codes work most of our people, so that you guys can police the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Just set up for our, that's what it's all about, coming together for our people. So i just like to say gratitude to you. Gratitude to you, young girl. And it's a <laughs> and so with that said, with that said uh, so we're going to bring this into full circle and give them a kind of understanding. I'm, I'm glad that your brothers made it because I know the light, no light. And so what what I have to offer to you because y'all y'all offer that that army or that security. What, 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 what we offer is that the protection, the human rights. Uh, we're not looking for any civil rights. You have you have your own government. You're not affiliated with the United States of America. With that. You see what I'm saying? You can come. Yeah, yeah. I ain't been a civilian a long time. Right. And so <laughs> you just said that. Like, yeah. So we 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 offer the the full benefits of everything. Uh, whatever you need, you can give us a call. I got. I'm the. I'm the uh, I, I'm the uh, general counsel of the council. The council. Yeah, yeah. Council. And so when the, we, we, we got a thing that we'll be teaching later on too. Uh, we're going to give them a law, to give our brothers and sisters, our younger brothers and sisters, law on how to um, capacitate when they're being pulled over by these enforcers that's not of us. Yeah. And, and we that we got specific protocol to where if they call in them or what, the minute that they encounter with them, they have to automatically contact council. The council. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They holler at their general council. If they don't, we're going to tear them up every time. Hit their pockets, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's word. That's gospel. That's why right. that's down for the record. It's going down for the understand real. violence or take the money away from them. So we start hitting them in their pockets here. It's going to be a problem for them. They're going to start listening. You know what I mean? Um, what is it going to be? I don't know if it's going to be aired, but I think a good thing too as well. May 7th, we have a meeting at the Gresham Library. All is welcome. Come out and get this information. You know what I mean? And then next one we have, we definitely love to work the inspirations and the teachings of you up in there to where you can teach. Like we have these meetings every, at least every month, once a month. Once a month. You know what I mean? So follow us on, at least on Facebook. Uh, you can find me at Reggie Noble. It's not really hard to figure out how to spell that. You can find him. He's going to be there. Alice Farrell. Find me on Facebook. We post a lot of information that where we be at and what's going on. So we're gonna make sure like you can't go to war without planning. You can't plan without me. Understand people, this is a psychological war, it's an educational war, it's a medical war, everything is a war on our people, man, because we are the have nots. At the end of the day with this Trump era, we used to have nothing. It's gonna be them that's at the top that's gonna to fall. One day that Babylon will fall. You know what I mean? Burn Babylon. Burn Babylon. Burn yeah, Babylon. Shit. Feel me? You run about that. Yeah. So we we, we here, you know, we it's the generation that, that 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 they thought that they was gonna be able to take out. You know, we are the we are the uh 
prayer answers to our ancestors because we're standing for our whole entire nation. We're not looking for no half of us over in this community and all that. We're looking for all 60 million plus of us. And we're coming together, bearing, bearing arms of L-O-V-E, love. It's love, not hate, but we do not demonstrate, but we will not hesitate to eliminate. Come on. Yeah. Power yeah. is love. Practice peace, but prepare for war. Yeah, Sam, all the time. They better not come to our door. He brought everything. He brought the emblems. You know what I mean? Divine constitution and bylaws, brother. And, and guess who was the only one, beloved, that was written in that book? The two on my chest. Side Come on, man. We 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 them right now. We demonstrating them. Look, look at the temple we under, man. It ain't no point. They say when the they say, they say when the when the when the student is ready, the teacher the teacher, the teacher gonna appear. Yeah. Let's get it. One, one he said one aim, one God, one destiny. Right? He didn't he didn't say what aim. He didn't say one God. He didn't say what God. He didn't say one destiny. No, but Drew Ali came sit with that one aim. Yeah, that's unity. You see what I'm saying? The dog, no, that's salvation. That's, that's our salvation. Unity. That's us coming out of the black Negro color into yeah. the Moorish American family. That's our salvation, all right? Then he, he said, he said, our God. He didn't say what God. No, but Jura Lee brought a lot. You see what I'm saying? For that, because that's the ancient script, fam. Right. And I can show it all we can the men who never saw. Yes, we will be we will be speaking that. Portland, yeah. we will be teaching that. We will be doing all of that. You Woo. see what I'm saying? That man, and so no let me keep it going because that it gets man, man, listen, we, we got we got everything and we just we just we coming together, bearing that one free national name, it's on and everything else take its course. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the reparations right there. So yeah, everybody that the don't even know, and don't even know, you can feel You feel like a thousand days. They don't come to us, brother. They build their light, and then we're going to they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna unify, because that's what they don't want. Yeah. The closest thing from, from Pangea breaking off, like I said, was Asia. So, like, them, them was our cousins. No, no, no. That was us, bro. That was us, bro. And then they, and they, that white bloodline deep. That's us. 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 That's in yeah, fact, we, we will look just like you know, if you can demonstrate, let's take it all the way back to the old, the old kingdom. Because the first this is kingdom. the new kingdom. Now, when we go to the old kingdom, welcome to it. You standing on it. From North America, South America, to Central America, 7,000 join our islands. Right now, the rocks cry out that Yehoshua was born in South America, which was Heru. And when we go into the science, we can find out about Asar Asa, and them being in equivalent to what Thebes, uh, Heliopolis, all of the, the uh, uh, Tahuti, the Grand Atlantean, when the Atlantean was up, all of this is historical base that we've been here and we are what our forefathers was without doubt or contradiction. Moab bloodline was the first aboriginal bloodline. Then came the Canaanites. That's why you had Adam and Eve, who the Cain going to or who they Abel going to. Then they, they went, they had the Moabite bloodline. That's why you said when you're dealing with Ruth, Ruth was a Moabitess. We, we, we draw it off of pure science. You had Moabites, Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, they in the, in the, in the human family. Now, do you know, have you seen Negro, Black, or Color in the Bible, y'all? Just tell me that. Because the prophet said, don't throw away your Bibles because we're going to use it to condemn the government. What government was he talking about? Right. But the USA. Right. Who instituted slavery in their laws their law. from 1779 to 1865. And then, right after that, Three years after that, 1868, they put us right black. Eight, they put us right black. It's been about, according to that law, that 14th and 15th Amendment don't apply to us because that was commercial property. Mm. Period. Tee. And so when we, we got all this as a historical base, we're not playing. And the ancestors is behind us. And if y'all not playing, they're going to bring a tsunami and knock down all of us. It would be, uh, hey, that means we train oh, trained, ready. preparing and waiting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and guess what? If there will, I guarantee you, for the record, there will be no guns, no bombs, nope. no uh, 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 nunchucks, no swords. Can we going right above our neck into the kingdom. Just raise it high so we can take care of our family. We can secure from that. We can secure our communities from our communities. Secure our land. This is right. ours. We are Moorish America. Welcome to Moorish America. All the Moorish Americans, all 60 million plus. 
Welcome home to your Moorish American government. Look, this is this is for the record. We going all the way live. Okay. Now what, let's speak about the Native Americans because the first Native Americans was the Moors. It was us. Yeah, the Mexicans. Yeah, Messi, Messi himself was a Moor. He came from West Mali. That we said that was Matamusa and all them brothers. You know they were sick. Right. They have been traveling. Right. We know this as historical base. And so Messi was Messi Co. That's why you still got the Basar here. That the first temples, matter of fact, in the Bible when they was talking about the, to the temples with the pyramid steps on there. Yeah. That was South Down America. There. You got you got uh you got who was that? Jerusalem and all of that. We hey we are not playing. This is we got historical base. For your own reference, they have a book that's called When the Rocks Cry Out by Horace, one of our one of our beloved Horace Butler, who did an amazing job with the references and stuff for you to go and check. That we are in the Holy Lands now, and we are the Aboriginals. And I just get honest for my brothers coming out, um, muck T staff, um, arm suited and booted to and loving. It, uh, because the prophet said, those who have race pride, this is part of the young and yet born. He said, I need strong men and women that love their part, they, they grace, and they ain't scared. Yeah, well, upright, fearless, and independent. It's, it's a, they say money don't make the man. It's free, free national standards, power, pro, power, and principles. We got the principles of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. All right. Without doubt or contradiction. Our national standards, and we stand it as nationals from this day, from and for, 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 for forever, as Moorish American nationals. We have this land is Moorish America. United States is of America, not is is in America. It's not the whole America. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> what about South America? What about America. the Central America? Seven thousand Jordan Islands, Canada, right. Hawaii. So yeah. Right. Now with all our brethren, you just gonna kick them out. You see how they kick them out? Uh, I close my eyes because it's hurtful for me to see my neighborhood the way it is. There's no 1222. There's no William. There's no no. There's no Johnny and Lenny's. There's no William. There's, there's no Quickies. There's no none of that shit. If there was 12 people, 12 strong soldiers that you can get out of Portland, Oregon, now. That was born here, who has their birth certificate and their social security card, and love their race. They can file a class act action lawsuit. They owe you thirty-three million dollars a year. Okay, and Portland, Oregon is the only place that I have been where there is no community. Like I've been here two years. And the first six months I was here, I was searching. Where are they? Where are they? To go down Martin Luther King and see nothing but yuppies. To go down Cesar Chavez and it looks like Berkeley reinvented. Thank you know, go down Rosa Parks you. and you don't see your people. When you don't know where to man. find them. For the first six months, I only seen 15 people of my race. Uh, 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 just 15, because I was counting them. One! They're gonna so that's, that's, you that's why it's the importance to uh, come from here in Portland so you can see the finished plan and you can know the importance of buying your own neighborhood up, um, investing your money back into the community um, and, and to us because here it, they have finalized the, the plan of what they're doing all over right, how they're singing, they singing sing. too loud but that's their community and they were, the barbecue they're they're they sing at noise ordinance they they're were doing, doing that same thing they're doing yeah, the same it's thing noise ordinance they in call, yes in East Oakland at, it, I mean just everywhere crazy like, church in Arkansas how they're 11, trying to in the uh, 12 whatever church is take oh, our what? take our uh, intimate domain our communities and our neighborhoods you see what I'm saying? It's important to put our money back. You see, uh, that's why they integrated us, you know, so we can be caught in the illusion of Maya to want to be like them. And it took us to look up. Remember when we were separated, we didn't have to lock our doors. We didn't have to be police. We didn't have, we had our own doctors, our own teachers, our own lawyers to, to become. Instead of being in the illusion of a Maya and wanting to be like these Europeans, when in the truth, in fact, they take our culture and steal it every day 
and, and, and capitalize off the, the worst to brainwash us to do what they can't do openly to us anymore. Thank you for watching One Nation with Dr. Cedric J. Pearson Bay and myself, Amonette Mayat Pearson Bay. So please join us again. We're still calling out to the leaders to come out and help us with our community outreach. We're out trying to build up our community. This is not a sign or demonstration. Right. We're coming in unity and love. Where there's so, unity, there's strength. United we stand. And again, this is One Nation. I am your host, Divine Minister Dr. Cedric J. Pearson Bay. This is my beautiful wife, Lane Dallas. I'm on that by y'all Pierce Bay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you sooner than later. Peace, Peace and love. Islam, Lord. At all costs.